Hey guys, it's CarGuy11. Today we're going to change out the engine air filter in my C7 Corvette. And it's not going to be changed with just any filter. It's a performance attack blue filter. And, and I'm going to get into details in a second. But what we're going to do, I'll show you how to change it first of all. And then we're actually going to do some performance and sound measurements to see if we get any improvements from stock. So definitely stay tuned. Okay, so I just came back from recording the stock performance and sound measurements of that stock air filter. It has 25,000 miles on it. It's ready to be changed, but it was really cool. TKO Performance sent me this Attack Blue Dry Nano Filter. So it's a lot more freer flowing, but still traps the same amount of particles due to that nano fiber construction and they're the only ones on the market to have this technology so really cool appreciate them sending it to me i will put the link below for all the info and you'll see the stock compared to the performance air filter numbers at the end of the video so be sure to stay tuned to the end so let's get to installing it so the first step to getting to the air filter is removing this air deflector and there are four seven millimeter bolts that you have to remove and this just pops right out and there you can see the big rat in this thing next we're going to remove the sensor connector just pull back on this red clasp and push down on the black one inside and it pulls right out then we're going to loosen this hose clamp connecting the intake piping so we could slide this off okay it's loose and you can just push it right off Next, we're going to loosen two T25 Torx bolts on the filter housing. And these don't come all the way out. They just loosen and stay in the housing. Now you can push down from the top and you see the filter split open. And this will need to be pushed down and slid up to remove. Just push this down and this slides up. All right give it a little wiggle there and this piece will come out just be careful of the coolant lines okay now we can remove the stock filter okay yeah, a little bit of dirt in there it's not horrible all right here you can see the new attack blue filter side by side it is a hair bigger than the stock one, uh, especially at the inner tip. But um, yeah, otherwise should fit no problem. Uh, the, the stock one isn't horrible. Again, 25,000 miles, but it is a little dusty. And of course I had my, took my cross country trip last summer with it. So it's time to be replaced for sure. And as you can see, it is a true cold air intake from the factory. It gets that air from the fender vent which is really cool all right we're gonna stick the new one in there again you have to get around the few lines all right now we're gonna get the cover again you get a slide the bottom okay it's not the easiest thing to finagle but once you do get the clips in there on the bottom you have to make sure that seal um, fits around the lip on on the housing here so once you do that you can close it back up all right just tighten everything back up the two bolts connect the cable tighten up the hose clamp and reinstalling the air deflector okay guys this is the stock air filter i have the exhaust in stealth mode so you hear the engine more than the exhaust and also we have a sound meter up here i'll clear it before we start but um it'll it'll get a sound reading i'm not saying it's accurate it's just the phone app but we can do a before and after comparison to see if we get any louder. And um, 
it might not pick it up because it may be the tone change, but we'll see how it does. So uh, again, stock, uh, it's touring mode, the stealth exhaust setting, and uh, we're just gonna do a nice acceleration here. So we're also going to do a performance measurement and what I'm going to do is a 5 mile per hour to 40 mile per hour acceleration in first gear, not changing gears to try to eliminate that variable and um, I'm going to use the Corvette uh, dash, has a 5 to 40 timer, you can uh, set it to the start and end. Uh, speed so that's what I selected so we can stay in first gear and um, We'll see if we get any performance increase. I did run it Earlier to make sure I, I can be consistent about it and I did get consistent time So we'll try it again and uh, We'll try it after the filter I'm Gonna do the 5 to 40 mile per hour acceleration run here not gonna really tack it up much stay in first gear and the decibel was 104 and that is consistent with what I was getting. I tried this a little earlier to make sure I was consistent. So we'll see if we get any improvement with the new performance air filter. engine light so far which is a good thing no tuning required for this filter so not that I uh, expected any issues but good to know that um, the throttle response seems a little crisper yeah it's a little throatier when you punch it for sure wasn't expecting too much performance gain uh, but what you do gain is an increase in throttle response and a little throatier intake sound when you punch it so that is consistent with you know they say you get about 10 horsepower you know um, you'll get higher gains with a supercharged force induction engine. But on the Stingray with the LT1, uh, you're not gonna get too much. But it is a nice little gain and throttle response. And um, I put one of these, not this exact one, but an AFE one in my Jeep, and I also noticed a throttle response in that. So 
filters. Another nice thing about this filter, it's reusable and washable, and you don't have to apply the oil or anything. It's a dry filter, but you can uh, wash it with soap and water, let it dry, and put it back in. So it'll last uh, a, a very long time compared to stock one where you pinch it. So there's that benefit too. But I am going to turn on the exhaust valves or open them up. And um, we'll see if that makes any difference. Honestly, with the exhaust valves open, I feel a little bit more. Maybe you need, because of that back pressure with the exhaust valves closed, with that intake helping the uh, intake side, the exhaust needs to be open to get the full effect. So. Like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.